Oh, that is me. On to, yes, with my lovely glasses. On to the fantasy deal. Now, fantasy didn't have that great of a week. Only scored 63 points. I don't think I did very well in our leagues. But, like I said, you, it, Cody Fajardo is a guy you got to start every week. Bradley Oliveira, forget him. I'm done with him. He's done nothing since the first week. Timothy Flanders, he got hurt. He only got four points. Mike Jones was a good pick. Scored a touchdown. Two, three catches for 22 yards. Kenny Lawler, always a good pick. He had six, uh, five catches for 61 yards. And Lamar Durant. BC Lions just didn't put up a lot of points. Four catches for 53 yards. I love all three receivers uh, there in the BC, with the BC Lions. Man, if they had a quarterback that, I mean, Michael Riley's good. You know what I mean? Got a younger guy in there. Like, stuck. Can you imagine Cody Fajardo with those wide receivers? How good they would be. And then I had the BC Lions defense. I thought they were going to be really good, and they only got me two points. So I only got 64 for last week. Now, this week's team, now we got to make our team for this week, all right? Let's go to the videotape and build our team for this. I'm still not using the um, bonus stuff. I'm not using the bonus stuff yet. I mean, I do have a lot of it. Do you want to use your bonus dollars this week? Sure. Uh, no, because there's only three games. I don't want to. I don't want to use it just yet. I don't want to use it just yet. I'm not. I'm not totally convinced on everything. This week, now this is interesting because this line. Now, as far as quarterbacks go, we know Mazzoli's out. Dane Evans is in. I'm not feeling that. Zach Kalaros, Vernon Adams. I was leaning in in this instance because they're close, and they're playing Hamilton, who's not played well. I mean, Calgary, I mean, they did put up points. I'm going to go with Verdon Adams in this one, but not for, uh, for fantasy uh, DraftKings, just because they're close here. And I'll explain why in a little bit. At the running back position, I assume Andrew Harris is still out. Kadeem Carey, he looked great. Always like to use him as a Tier 1 guy. Um, forget about Flanders and, and Brady. I'm not interested in them. I'll probably want to pick somebody lower. Oh, man. But uh, I don't know. Shaq Cooper, how did he do last week? He watched six carries, didn't do a lot. Um, and that was his first game playing, so I don't really want to. Uh, now, Sean Thomas Erlington. Six carry. I mean, again, not not a lot. Six carries, nine carries. I mean, that that's nothing there. There's really slim pickings. Flanders got hurt. That's somebody that I was going for. Uh, you know, way more carries. I mean, he had nine carries, but then uh, I don't know what his injury status is. Uh, they say he's a low end. Uh, I think uh, because there's slim pickings at the running back position, we might go up and do William Stanback as well. I mean, he's, you know, he's getting in the carries and the fantasy points. So we might go with both of these guys. That's big. That's a high dollar value to pick in the beginning. But I, I just don't see anybody else out there. You're basically throwing it away for nothing. I mean, maybe you take a flyer on, on Flanders again. At th maybe that's your only bet. I mean, maybe I'll take a, a flyer on him again based on his injury. Do we know, chat room, if, if he's hurt at all? I mean, it's not showing anything here. But he's so cheap. Oliveira did nothing. Let's see what we can get uh, wide receiver-wise. Again, I love my BC Lion wide receivers. Brian Burnham is a good one. Uh, Lucky Whitehead didn't do that much last week. Darwin, Darwin Adams did really well uh, last week. Let's see, he uh, he made his debut. Oh, only, but he had a touchdown. He might get more action uh, coming into that, and definitely took stuff away from Kenny Lawler um, from last week. Caught five passes. 
but even with the return, he will continue to be the top option for Zach Caleros. So I might go with him again, though I'm a little concerned about him. Lamar Durant, always doing well. Um, if you're going to pick three of those, I might go with Durant. Uh, uh, I really need to pick. Uh, can I get Can I get away with picking him? Oh, I have like no money left. Mm, man. All right, let's let's go with defense. Let's find out what kind of money we got left. BC Lions, Ottawa. Yeah, I mean BC Ottawa is if Ottawa is the worst team in the league, BC's got to be the what you got who you got to pick. But that remaining salary basically is about four thousand a piece. Um, so I got to go somebody lower. Um. But I'd like to get a decent wide receiver. Juan Bray, he did okay, I believe. I scored his first touchdown, game log. I think he had a couple drops. And yeah, I'm not feeling him. This is somebody we can get. Nick Dembski. I don't want to have too many guys, especially now that uh, uh, Darwin Adams is back. Um... We need somebody in that four range. Ugh, there's Brad Oliver. I mean, he's going to be the starter. Got to pick him as a flex, I guess. I mean, you kind of have to. Uh, but you really don't want to. Uh, I'm not. Uh, Devontae Deadman, how did he do? Oh, nothing. Definitely want to pick him. Man, I do not have a lot of money left. How did Josh Huff do? Game log. We want... Uh, he did pretty good. Oh, he did great. I want to add him. Let's let's get rid of Brady and add Josh Huff. 3,000. Uh, let's put him at wide receiver. Josh Huff. Where did he go? All right, we'll add him. And then on our flex, who 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 we got like a big flyer off of? I prefer a wide receiver, three thousand eight hundred and seventy. Drew Wolarski uh, caught two passes. I mean, he could go for five. He could get you ten points. Uh, three thousand eight hundred. Who's Sheed Bailey? Uh, he's he's got a little bit more consistency, so we'll go with him, Bailey. All right, so there's our lineup: Vernon Adams, Kadeem Carey, Tim Flanders, Kenny Lawler, Josh Huff, Rashid Bailey, and the BC Lions defense. There is my lineup there. We already got our picks in I, about the total pick them. Let's t jump over for a second, see what we think in the chats. Uh, we've got next is the DraftKings. Now, DraftKings, I just want to point out that I did good. I won some money. I won money in this one. I won money actually in every single one that I did. And like I've been telling you guys, 50-50 is the way to go. I got 95 points, and the winner in this league had 119. So I had Fajardo, like I've talked about, Flanders. It was out. Lawler did good, okay, 10 points. Uh, Jones, look at that, 2.6%. I think that was off of um, Rod Villa Gomez pick. He hasn't come out with his stuff yet just because there's no games tomorrow. Uh, Lucky Whitehead. Man, nothing. Seven points. Greg Ellingson, fantastic game, 26, uh, at 26.8. And then the Alouette's defense, um, eight points there. So that got you the money. So you win the money again. Now, for this week's picks is going to be interesting. Because now look at the difference between Zach Caleros and Vernon 
Adams Jr. I am going with Zach Caleros in this one because the difference is basically five, like maybe four, five points, but it's thousands of dollars, so to speak, difference between the two. And so that's why I'm um, sticking with um, going with Caleros on this one, just because he basically gets around the same amount of points, but gets a less. Again, Kadeem Carey, I'm going with him, especially because, you know, he's going with kind of like a rookie third stringer quarterback. So might as well go with him. That makes it a lot easier. I love going with me with some. Let's go with the defense, first of all. Uh, they have the Stampeders as the cheap cheapest, and they have the Lions. It's four thousand stamps against Winnipeg, eh, Red Blacks, Tiger Cats. Now I'm still going with the BC Lions. You can see they were a lot more expensive, and the other one. Now we're going with the wide receivers. Again, Speedy Banks, Brandon Banks. No interest. No interest in just that's way too much to pay. Uh, Brian Burn Burnham, take a look at his game log. I mean, you got you're paying a lot of money, and look what he did last week, five points. They did 22 and 19. Again, I like the guys from that team, but they're just not doing so. Oh, Durant's questionable. It was limited in practice on Wednesday. And practice a while, so he, he hopefully he'll be good to go. He's questionable. Uh, that's a guy that I always like to go with. Well, the thing is, if Durant's out, then Lucky Whitehead, again, Lucky Whitehead, really like him. He's probably one of my favorite players. Five, six, and four targets, 100 yards piece each game, but then 31 yards, only seven fantasy points. You got to get somebody there, especially if Durant could be potentially out. And you notice that Durant is actually ranked higher. Well, let's hopefully... I don't know if I want to spend that kind of money as he being a top guy. Now, Acklin is a good one. Uh, but again, Hamilton is questionable, but he he looked good. If I could go Whitehead and Acklin, do I have enough money? I have enough to, to make it. So those are all 7,000 guys. Uh, let's see. Who else do we have here? Who can we get? Maybe we can pay up for somebody else. A little bit on the flex side of things. I don't want to go. Uh, now he came back. Darvin Adams with two catches. He should be ready to go. He's questionable. Uh, we're going to take a flyer on him and just keep keep an eye on that. And then finally, our last player. Do we take a? Let's see, flex. I mean, I don't know if I really want to take a running back. Durant, Roosevelt's out. Shaq Johnson, what's his deal? Oh, geez, nothing. Nothing at all. Stay away from that. Uh, Wenke, I think, did pretty good, right? Eight catches. Alouettes did nothing the first game. The second game he did. We'll take a flyer on him. And there you have, we still have 800 remaining, but we definitely have to keep an eye, eye, an eye out on some of these injuries as well as you know what that's going on. So we got Zach Caleros, Kadeem Carey, Acklin, Whitehead, Adams, Wenke, and then the Lions defense. Hey, all we need to do is do better than 50% of everybody else, and you're good. Now is the time to get those games in. It's going to be a little bit trickier because now there's only three games instead of four but good luck with your picks there, and I'm going to enter that as well.